So hopefully you've seen my other video giving you a bit of an introduction to the Live Loops grid. This is some more of the updates to Logic 10.5. Um, for me, one of the incredible changes and this kind of drag and drop workflow which really kind of speeds everything up is access to the quick sampler. And even if you have a cell in your grid, you can actually grab that cell. So I'm going to grab a vocal that I've already recorded and I'm going to drag it over to the tracks window and you can see I have a little pop-up box which is another new feature and I can just very very quickly go to a quick sampler. I'm going to choose the optimize because it helps you out a little bit further. Immediately I get a window that opens up showing me the sampler without actually having to have gone to the channel strip, setting up a sound or choosing a plugin, software instrument. So at the moment it's set to classic but I now want to set this to slice mode and so now here's a little section of my vocal and very very quickly you can start to really change that sound so I'm just going to go into tuning and I love the sound of a fifth again a very kind of dance music sound you can hear that my almost sounds like it's saying be there which wasn't actually what I was singing originally but it's great how quickly you can make these changes. You can also initiate a flex time function to be able to follow the tempo of your songs. You can see it's kind of lengthened it slightly to kind of more like the normal notes. I'm actually going to turn it off because I quite like the little short clip sound that I'm getting here. So I've got the pitch. So let's have a little section triggering. And I'm just going to stop that loop of the vocal because so I've got this new bit. And this again is a really kind of cool effect. And with a little tweak of the cut off filter and the resonance, gate. Go on then, just a little more tweaking the resonance. We've also got the recorder, which means you can just literally drop straight in and record some audio direct into the sampler that quick to kind of activate. Obviously then you have to choose a recording input, which can be found here. And even though it's essentially a software instrument, you're able to input um, directly. So I have a microphone set up. You can see I've got the level there and then I can just obviously trigger the part of the song that I want to sing along to. See now I've got a little recorded section. I can then take that back again to slice, immediately slice it up. Again, play around with the pitch. See, that one almost sounds quite percussive. So you can see how quickly any kind of sound input can be drastically altered. So another really cool thing that you can do with quick sampler is you can actually take quite a long MP3. Not that I'm implying you do anything illegal here. These are royalty free, of course. You can actually take a whole track. You can see it's just having a little import moment. About two minute long track that I'm importing here. It will slice actually into tiny, tiny segments. Go to a bit that we're actually sampling there. Zoom in. And you can hear now. Got some great little percussion samples. And a few little tiny notes of piano as well. But it's amazing how it can pick up these tiny intricacies of sound. And it was these tiny splice samples that I used in my track of the percussion. a really good idea to the quick sampler and just how quickly you know you can play around with different sounds. <laughs> 